Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48th World. And we have an article, a title of incorrect. Candy Burris hits back at NeNe Leakes claiming she's in alliance with Cynthia Bailey and Kenya Moore. Yes, that's what's out there on trending news. Celebrity gossip. Hot news, y'all. Being brought out by Tia Berger who works for AtlantaBlackStar.com as a correspondent or journalist over there writing out the hits okay we're going into the article it says it looks like candy birds has a few words to get off her chest regarding any leaks okay we know that famous thing between them two we see each other remember that at one of the reunions earlier on in you know the current se well not the current season but the past season it says the Real Housewives of Atlanta member and escape singer took to her YouTube channel Candy Online to address Leaks' claim that Burris has a supposed alliance this season with Leaks, Foes, Kenya Moore, and Cynthia Bailey. The former Apprentice stars remarks are in response to Bailey and Burris is knowing about Moore's shady antics towards Tanya Sam and her fiance Paul Judge. Okay, now. Alliance can mean a lot of things to people. This is just my pun intended, my sidebar. To me, Candy, you are in alliance with Kenya Moore and Cynthia Bailey. Those are your ace boom coons, honey. That's who you sided with. That is the, uh, we call it the uh, line in the sand that has been drawn. We all know if you had to pick a side or go to a team, you are going to be on the alliance that you have forged with Kenya Moore and Cynthia Bailey. Do you not understand what alliance means? Now, if somebody's tearing somebody down and it's just a human aspect that you're looking at it as, then yes, I think you would do the right thing and come and take up for the underdog, but then you'll still be trying to throw your little pun into it or where they went wrong. Okay, because like I said, you you defend Kenya Moore all day, every day, when you know she be full of shit, when you know she be doing some foul shit, but you check her and you still enable her to do bad things, so... I agree with Nene saying your alliance because Nene has her alliance right now. She can't trust nobody on the show because she definitely has alienated herself from pretty much everybody except for Marlo. But the ones that you think are your friends, ooh, whoa, 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 is Nene. Because it'll be a damn shame if Marla come up to replace her on the show. Wouldn't that be something, y'all? Ain't that calling the pot calling the kettle black? Your own friend that you deemed your friend on the show ended up becoming your foe. And the one that stabbed you in the back to replace you. Okay, now this is my sidebar, not in this article. I'm just trying to peep game from another uh perspective but we go on back to the article it says burris however denied her co-stars allegations and said she doesn't do the alliance thing no you don't do it candy girl you don't do it okay mm -hmm. we'll put it like this your mind may be saying one thing but your actions be doing a total different 360 candy i'm just saying with book eyes and everything yes don't look shocked that's just how you get down you just don't realize it. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, I don't really get down with the alliances because it turns into this whole fakeness situation. Burr said on her show, people be teaming up and they be plotting on people on the show. I personally don't do, well, I personally don't agree with that. We can't have sidebar again. Do you remember when y'all was in Toronto, Canada, and you... Kenya and Portia were trying to take down Yovana Sams. Did you did you remember the alliance that you forged and formed on that particular night? Girl, really? Okay. Maybe you just need to pick up a dictionary candy and read it for your own edification about what alliances are. But anyway, moving from that situation, um we go back to the article it says she continued, what, uh, she continued, what's happening here with Kenya and Cynthia and I is just that we just actually like each other and we have good scenes together and we laugh, joke, and we talk. No, Candy, what you do is talk about other people. Yes, yeah, same as anybody else that's in a clique or in a, a alliance or in friendships with people. 
they talk about other people, you know, what be it good or be it bad, okay? Don't really matter. You be over there calculating it up about what Tanya Sams is doing or what she did towards your bestie Kenya. And Nene be throwing her little spin in it. You talk about Nene behind your back. Hell, you even go have dinner or lunch with Nene just to find out what you can take back to Cynthia and Kenya. Now, what does that call you, Candy? What does we call you, informant, the source, the bone collector? Which one would you per pretty much gear to expressing yourself as, Candy? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, baby. Going back to the article, it said, um... So, okay, she said, we joke, we laugh, we talk. So, if that's what you think, Nene, then you are incorrect. Okay, then it says, Burris went on to say that she and Lise were cool while filming Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12. She claimed that she she's invited her co-star to come on Canned Online to clear the air about her alliance's remarks regarding her Bailey and more. Real Housewives of fans, however, had mixed reactions to Burris' remarks. One commenter said, I like you, Candy, but I think you're being very biased in this situation with Tanya and Kenya. You know damn well if someone did to you what Kenya did to Tanya, you would be pissed and ready to get crunk. You and Kenya are completely wrong, and it's very shady and whack for two married women to be this entertained with hashtag messy and wrong. Now, we can go back to Phaedra Pauls, right? And Portia, and that whole scenario, you thought Portia and um, uh, Phaedra was an alliance, but you were just in that friendship with them. You just had a friendship with Portia as well as Phaedra at the same dang time, okay? You had your own alliance then as well. But when she hit the fan, you had to go in like a locomotive going without a conductor running the train. All right. We see how that mess ended up. Phaedra out there doing I don't know what other than lowering around, you know, doing her attorney thing. She's still thirsty out in them streets trying to be on anybody platform that would notice her, okay? But it just is what it is. So, yes, Candy, that commenter that tried to check you, yeah, you are being quite biased when it comes to not... Well, you're turning a blind eye to Cynthia as well as Kenya, especially Kenya's bad demeanor towards other people on the show. Okay, I'm just giving it to you straight with no chaser, Candy. Straight with no chaser. All right. We both drinking ice cold water together. I just have lemon in mine. All right. And I just gave you straight up cold water. But going back to the article, it says, another commenter said, so... Just because three people communicate better, it's an alliance. How old are you all? Nene is immature as hell. Okay, now to that commenter, I said, you know, tisket or tasket, sticks and stones, and guess what? Nene is immature as hell, but so is Kenya Moore. They both cut from the same cloth. You can't diss one without dissing the other. It just is what it is. They all have their flaws, but the two messier ones, you can get that right, you got it. It is Nene and it is Kenya. Don't shade one without shading the other. That's all I'm saying. Going back to the article, it says, At the end of the day, Nene wants everyone to kiss her ass and knowing the fact that none of these ladies doing it, she can't take it. Take that. I understand that, and I agree with that commenter. Going to the next commenter, um, they said, You don't have to say alliance for it to be one. Y'all be planning and plotting on the other side, too. Candy, you just is messy. And I'm like, there you go. Huh? Um, people that are so-called Team Candy, they checking Candy. Yes, they checking her from left to right to right to left. They ain't letting off of her, okay? They got their foot on her neck. And that's pretty much where it needs to be. Because Candy Burris is over there just shooting blanks, okay? She know what she doing is wrong. She knows she's the bone collector. And she's going to probably be the bone collector next season, too. But I just can't wait for more stuff to be thrown at Candy while she's easy going making her money and being the bone collector and everybody else throwing out they so-called real reality lies where they're being turned upside down. And I don't think Candy doing this uh, having babies and doing uh, profitable business 
uh, lucrative business deals growing her empire. And that's okay. Yes, it is. But that's boring as hell. You supposed to be doing that now, uh, providing for your family and living a luxury life if that's what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But you on a drama show. We need drama because everybody life ain't full of roses and petals, okay? And birds chirping in the air. They have some storms and we need to see some of those storms so we can see how you handle yourself when... You don't have no one there, okay? How do you get down when the chips are down? Can you stand the rain? In my new edition voice, can you stand the rain? Can you can it? It tastes like candy. My cameo voice. Uh, 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 uh. It tastes over me. Tastes like candy, yes, honey, candy, 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 girl, candy, girl, yes, you are my world, you are, you are a mess, we put you to the test, and you pass, candy, girl, you a mess, you a mess, okay, but that's all I have for this video, y'all, candy trying to look like she's a nice person, that she's a friend on the block, no, honey, no, Candy, you can't play that role, honey. You have been deemed and shown to be a certified bone collector, mess starter, shit starter, however you want to get down, girl. No, you shade in black, honey. You shade in black. But anyway, y'all get down and tell me what y'all thought about Candy trying to excuse herself uh, from Nene saying she's built her alliance. She has an alliance. I think Candy need to pick up in a dictionary and see where that goes when we say former alliances around here. Because she knows she was over there in Big Brother house. And I think she was the second or third person still in the house. Even though we know Tamar Braxton won it. But it's just a point. Girl, stop acting like you're being so competitive. That's all you live for is the, the uh, competitiveness and the edge it takes you on. You like that high, honey. You like that high. Okay, but y'all tell me what y'all thought. Get down in them comments. Like I said, be respectful. And um, continue to like, subscribe, and share my videos. And I will see you next video. Thank you, guys. Good night.